Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today I'm going to show you how do I adjusted my bathing suit. Um, I wanted to make this swimsuit work a little bit better for me. I've been wearing it for working out and it doesn't work very well for um, aerobics classes in the water. So it is a long um, bathing suit. So the first thing I did is I found where the bra line was and I cut this off and I made sure I cut an equal length on each side. The next thing I did is there was a string that went around here and I removed it. So I'm going to put this to the side. Now the next thing I did is I wanted to make a band and I want the band to fit tightly around my under bust area to hold this on. Now I cut a strip of fabric that was 28 inches long baste it right sides together and stitch here. This creates a band that works for my underbust measurement. Now you may want to have, you're probably gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Um, I think my underbust was 26 inches and the width of this fabric is six and a half inches by the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna face this, this time wrong sides together to make my band. And once I do that, I need to face it right sides together with this and sew it on. Let me show you what that looks like pinned. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna mark your 25% marks. I guess you're gonna have four places you mark on here. The each edge, and I already know this, I don't have to mark this because it's got the seam. Um, the halfway point, for each side and then this side. The next thing I'm gonna do is do the same thing on the top part of my, my swimsuit. For the top part of my swimsuit, all I had to do is um, mark the middle points because again, there's seams on either side. The other thing I did is I just clipped my inner liner up to the top so that I don't accidentally sew that. So the next step is we need to sew this onto here. And we do that by flipping this so the raw edges all meet and um, will pin where the pins meet. And I'll show you that. Okay, so as you can see, I have pinned this together. And what I'm gonna do is when I'm sewing this with a stretch stitch or a serger, I am going to be stretching the band so that it matches the bottom of this um, the swimsuit top because what happens is the band band's intention is to be kept tight and we want it to create kind of like an elastic um, to pull tight around our underbust area so we are pulling this band so that it stretches out a little and then when we put it on it'll kind of snap back closed um, if we left it, if we made the band the same size as our swimsuit bottom here, um, we would have um, looseness under our breasts and that wouldn't be a very nice look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're stretching the black band and not stretching the swimsuit itself. If you stretch the swimsuit, it will not look good when it's finished. Okay, so here we are. I have surged this on and I am going to top stitch it using my cover stitch machine because I do have that option. I have one. Um, it's not a necessity for sewing this, but it certainly is helpful. So I'm gonna sew that down. Okay, at this point, um, actually I kind of wish I hadn't cover stitched this. It looked better before, but whatever. Um, at this point, I need to add some straps here, but I am going to make sure this all fits first. And then I'm going to look and see how long I need my straps to be. And I can do that by putting this on to try it on and then measuring where this starts and where I want it to meet on the other side. Okay, so excuse the laundry in the background, but we are always having more and more laundry. So this is it, where we're at now. The band is actually a really good fit for me. Um, I'm pretty happy with where the band is. So now all I, have to, all I have to do is add the straps. So I'm gonna take my measuring tape here and just measure how far, sorry, how far I have to get to the back. And I cannot do that while I'm videoing, but I wanted to show you real quick 
what our situation is here. Now, the one thing I want to make sure I do is I want to pull this up tight. I do not want this to be loose um, on me. And the reason for that is that's giving you some support for your breasts. Um, if you let it sag, it's ropes it sag too. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> so I am going to measure now um, with this all the way up here. Okay, so I need about 18 inch long straps, adjusting for the fact that I will have some over, well, actually, maybe, I might seam rip this, yeah, I'm gonna seam, the, seam rip this first. Okay, so now I'm able to cut my straps and I'm going to use black. Well, I want it to be even with the width of this, which was five inches, I believe. Yeah, about five inches. So what I'm doing is I'm making it about six inches here across because I have to account for the fact that I'm gonna make this double-sided. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of this for one strap. And then I made it 18 inches, which was the length I needed. And I may taper this in a little more. I'm trying to decide, I wanted a thinner strap in the back. Um, so I think I may actually make this smaller. This is five inches, although, no, that'll work. So. Um, we've got six inches and then five inches here and then it's 18 inches wide. So I'm going to cut three more of these um, for my straps. Okay, so I'm going to sew this right sides together, each one, and um, I'm just going to sew um, the long edge right sides together and then flip it right sides up. Okay, so actually I went and surged the, um, the thinner edge and the long side on each one and then I flipped it right sides out. Okay, so as you can see, we are matching up the raw ends of this tube we made, the strap, with the area that our stitching was that we seam ripped. And the reason we wanna do that is because this stitching um, kind of ruined the swim fabric, so we don't wanna show that. So we are gonna start here and serge across. Now, if you're sewing, you can just snip that off. Um, same thing with serging, but my serger will take care of it as we're going. So I'm just going to serge across here and here. And then once I flip it, it'll look like that. Okay, so here it is sewn on. Again, I sewed it right sides together. And then I actually top stitched it using a zigzag stitch. Again, you want to use something that's a zigzag because that's a stretch stitch. Um, for anything that you're using stretchy fabric for. Although in this case, I don't know if you're really getting any stretch across this, but better safe than sorry. Anyways. 